Hello and welcome in my first video. In this video I'll show to you how to reduce the input lag in your Windows machine to improve the smoothness of your pointer to have an advantage in gaming. So let's start from the basic settings you need to do in Windows search for mouse settings and disable enhance pointer precision the settings smooth your uh, pointer movement but it adds input lag so disable it you, your mouse pointer will feel weird after uh, you disable this option while well, you'll get it next ne we need to do a thing in device manager we need to search and system device for high precision event timer we need to disable it not not uninstalling but disabling so you find it and click on disable device yes then you can close it after those steps you need to open your browser and search for latency mon latency mon is a um, program to measure your kernel latency so it's good to test your overall kernel latency to reduce it at the minimum possible to have advantage in games reducing the input lag so it's not advantage like cheating or anything is something that everyone can do so it's not cheating you're simply reducing your input lag your responsiveness so go to the official size site of Latin Simon that is resplendent software and then we search for the download uh, there free downloads Here it is, Lead and Simon 7.31. Go to download free mom edition. I will not download it because I already have it installed. So after you download it, you install it, then open it. Before you do anything in this program, you need to go to options there, this little icon with the screen, and then set the general latency measuring method to kernel timer latency. Press OK, then click to start. Okay, now you can see the latency of my system, overall latency. Uh, measure it, measuring all things, all kind of things like processes, drivers. It's pretty low because I already have done the optimization you need to. But when you open this program, you will notice that it's not as low as mine. So to get the latency of your system like this, uh, measured in microseconds so one uh, 1000 microseconds is like 1 ms 1 ms the same uh, unit measurement of the lag in most of the games when you are measuring your internet connection so divide every number that you see there by 1000 and you'll get 
the results of your total input latency given by your system so if you have like 10,000 is like you have 10 milliseconds of input latency added by the kernel of your system you go you can go in driver and sort by DPC count to see which drivers have the highest execution time well, what's slowing your input latency so in my case this driver is doing the most of the work you can see ISR count that it's high that's because those are the USB drivers so using my mouse will uh, obviously raise the numbers of operations made by this driver so as you can see if I move my pointer you see the number rise but if I stop the pointer the number didn't go up much more like before so at this point what we need to do is to go and search for latency destroyer should add to the creator of the this uh, little program that does what it says it destroy your delay should add to its creator quake it k for it is really helpful so when you find this page download delay destroyer using this button here and you save it on your desktop or whenever you want then you run it as administrator uh, click here more info and click run anyway after we have done this it will open this little program it asks to you if you want to create a restore point I recommend it so click yes click the epsilon key on your keyboard then press enter it will create a restore restore point so if uh, some settings fail you have the restore point and you can revert all the changes made by this program so after uh, the restore point is created the program will ask to you some settings um, I will go with the recommended settings so 42 is recommended in this step so we choose the option number 7 corresponding to 42 we write 7 and press enter okay now it asks to you setting up timer resolution anyway I will go with the recommended I already done this I have set the timer to 1 so 0 0.500 milliseconds uh, you can test which config is better uh, for your machine and use the restore point to revert the changes and try whichever you find best for you uh, after this step it asks to you do you want to run uh, NDIS tweaks can cause network issues but improve latency on the NDIS driver I uh, used it uh, you can test it also I repeat you can revert the change with the restore point so don't worry 
you will not ruin your PC doing anything wrong. Uh, after that, it asks to you if you want to run the device manager tweaks. I did not do this, but I put no. Then the software asks to you if you wanna do, if you wanna import the Quaked, uh, the name of the creator. Uh, power plan. I imported it, I put it on, it's really good. You can say here, yeah. it automatically opened this window, the, the power options, where you can customize your power plan. If this opens for you, you can write epsilon here to confirm that the power plan import correctly and press enter okay now your PC will be restarted after the restart you open latency mode again uh, make sure you, this setting is not changed and press on the play button here to start the measuring uh, I already did a lot of tweaks to reduce the uh, kernel latency to these values. So at this point, after using the Lay Destroyer, if you don't see much improvements, you need to go to drivers and sort for DPC and the RS count the, to find the highest numbers in there that provokes the maximum input lag to your config. In this case, DirectX graphic kernel, you can do anything about it. MD Crash Defender, maybe you can disable it by, I am not suggest to you to do it because it can cause instability in the AMD software. Already tried it. So, you can see that the resplendence latency monitor is this program that uh, causes latency because it's measuring the latency. So, if you don't notice much improvements or your numbers are still high, you need to go there and check which driver is causing it. You found the driver then you go to device manager and go to view and set device by driver at this point if you maybe most of the time the HD audio bus is causing high latencies so first thing to do is to search for it So maybe open where you see audio and then you can disable which ever thing you don't use. So the uh, driver uh, weight on the system is reduced and uh, your input lag will be reduced by this. Also. I advise to you to do another thing is to disable anything you don't use but for doing this without losing functionality of your system you need to know what you're doing so uh, in my system the little thing I disabled uh, or the S ATA the SATA ASCII controller because I don't use any SATA uh, devices, so I disable it. Also, if you go in the BIOS settings, uh, you can find some devices that you can disable there, like the 
uh, integrated LAN uh, integrated audio integrated graphics if you don't use it uh, if you don't use those things you can disable it uh, in a safe manner so maybe I'm using Wi-Fi right now as you can see I don't need to my computer to use its capabilities to run the LAN driver so I did not disable the driver but I did disable the LAN controller in the BIOS settings this will reduce uh, the overall uh, weight on your CPU and your latency so maybe go on the BIOS settings uh, load the optimized defaults settings then uh, one of the time one at a time try to disable uh, things like uh, HD audio controller if you don't use it like I'm not using it you can't see it there uh, the motherboard audio controller because uh, you, uh, you can see those that are from the video card from the my GPU you can see this uh, uh, it's the headset that I'm using right now uh, it functions like uh, with a USB antenna you can plug in your PC so I don't need to use the integrated audio controller so I disable it and you can see it you can't see it here because of that so that's all after all those steps you will improve your latency you can feel it in your mouse pointer if you play some games maybe if you play Fortnite or other games you can uh, go test it and I will tell you that it will feel much smoother uh, it's like when you move your mouse is like changing from 60 Hz to 240 Hz for the first time is a really overwhelming uh, sensation to uh, to witness so uh, I hope you find all this guide useful and reduce your input lag thank you very much for viewing my video